Hi everybody, welcome to the Stingray Show. Um, as you can see, I've already started. Um, however, we'll go over some of these other techniques. Oh, um, what I was saying while I was painting the rest of it is that with stingrays and color, you want the illusion of a really smooth critter. So to do that, it's gonna be a lot of layers of paint. Can't believe I wasn't recording this thing. Then I'll come in here with another little layer. And as you paint, using a small brush here, color interpretation is really big. So for the gray, I'm using, well, gray, but I'm also using permanent green, which is like a bright green. Use a little bit of white, using raw umber, some magenta, a little bit of everything. Like I'm kind of scumbling that. On this stretch right here, what's gonna get a little bit darker, I'll use uh, still more wet paint. And then I'll, for the shadow, I'll use gray, dark gray, a little more permanent green on that. And I'll start with like a line almost, which is a terrible brush stroke. But then while it's still wet, I'm gonna use a scumbling technique and like scrub it. That'll get the illusion of being a lot smoother than it really is. Then after I have that, so that's too dark, on purpose, if you start too dark, then you get lighter and lighter. Then I'll come in here and I'll add another little bit more of the white. And for this big part, I could probably go back to the bright brush. So we're using like a lot of different um, color interpretations, brush strokes, scrubbing, and it's like a layering process, like onions or Shrek. Although I don't know if you're old enough to do Shrek. All right, so then I'll come in here with a little bit of the, the bright brush again, tap that in there, smooth brush strokes. So watch this, this is gonna be a long brush stroke, but you can't leave it long like that. Otherwise, it's like a rookie maneuver. So uh, all you have to do is go back into it and get rid of that long brush stroke, tap it in with some more smaller ones. And now that I have the shadow established, I can go back over it a little bit with more layers of light on top. Starting to get that curve. Now up here, it's gonna get a lot lighter. So in this area, I'll start light. Once again, that line right there is a little bit too uh, exaggerated. So then I'll fade it out. And if you wanna fade a color, the acrylics, it's like dry so fast. Uh, all you have to do is take water, rinse off your brush. <clears throat> then I'll like take a little squeegee, my fingers. Now it's a wet brush with no paint. I'll take that and bring it into the rest of the critter, the wing. I guess it's a wing. I don't think it's a fin. I think it's got to be a wing. Anyways, I'm calling it a wing, especially because it's in the sky. All right, so there's another bad brush stroke. I'm going to hide that by going back in. I like to start with the bad brush strokes to get a nice clean line. Then I go back in and feather it out. Now I'll get some more of here. Now for the details of this, how it comes up, then I'll go back to the small brush and I'll start going in with the white, maybe a little less lube, and line here. That's gonna be the edge of the fin wing. <clears throat> nice clean angle. And then over here, you have imperfections. I have a little more white here and these details. This is really gonna help your painting. Adding these little variations. It's subtle at first, but then we'll keep building it up more and more. Then over here, bad brush stroke. Rinse off the brush a little bit. Now I'll tape it out, taper it out. And then the texture of these little guys, it's kind of like uh, sandpaper and leather combination. So it's pretty, it's, they're small textures, but they still have them. Bottom here, I'll go more white. This is that secondary highlight I was telling you about. Now I'll feather that out a little bit. Using small brush strokes. And contrast wise, what's gonna really make this stand out is when we do this interior. So I'll do, I'm not gonna do that uh, thin wing. However, I will do this one. Um, so on this, it's gonna be a little more color interpretation. Once again, the contrast is all going to be in here. So I have the permanent green and raw umber. 
I'm going to start to dark and get lighter and lighter. So uh, I'll still make it gray, though. So it's still going to be gray with other colors. You can look at painting things as everything has to be ish. What the heck is that, Mr. Stevens? Good question. Um, what I mean is uh, the whole color is going to be green-ish. So the gray is going to be green. Uh, the white's going to be kind of green. I have a little bit of green on everything. Now that I went too dark, I'm about ready to start lightening up and getting more color. And as I put the paint on, what you'll notice is I'm painting with going different directions. I don't want any visible brush strokes. So to do that, all I have to do is make sure that I'm doing a, not really a scumbling technique, but I'm going <clears throat> sideways. And in general though, following the contour of the whatever you're painting. All right, so I'm almost done with this. This is the base coat only though, so don't get too excited. I know you're thinking, it's not looking like a steam ray yet. There's such thing as a manta ray. Is that a different thing? Oh, anyway, so we got the base coat on there. Much darker than this. Uh, that's why we call it a base coat. Now I'll add some tints to the color, primarily in this middle area. And that's too much paint. I'll wipe off some and tap that in there. And right now, I don't have a lot of color interpretation, but you gotta change that. See how hard edge that line is right there? I'll fade that out into this. And to fade it, if you just add a little more color, I'm gonna add just a little bit more brown, then come in here with the brown. And then same thing up here. So now it's getting softer. When you're done, you should have at least, I don't know, six layers. Six layers of paint. I'm on layer like two or three right now on this thing. And then on the top part up here, I'll come in there. A little more white. It's the back of that fin wing. It's gonna be a lot darker. So to get that contrast, to make that stand out, I wanna exaggerate how light this is. And to make it smooth, once you pull your brush, get a little sticky with paint. That means you're running out of water. So, dip it in water. But you got to get rid of most of it. If you don't get rid of most of the water on your brush when you're painting, uh, what will happen is it will kind of like eat away at the other layers of paint. And they'll kind of come off even. All right, so then over here, it's going to be a little more brown. So I have the white. Now I'll dip it in the brown. So I'm going to go more browns over here. Ooh, I just thought of another idea. I'm gonna add some more magenta. All right, so now I got the browns, it's subtle, green, what have you. Now it's a little bit of magenta as an accent. Magenta is pretty strong though, so you don't wanna get too silly with magenta. I'll add a little magenta over here on the brown. So magenta and raw umber are kind of good friends. Like I just put the magenta over the brown Nice little contrast. So you have magenta, you have brown, you have green. All that color makes it look kind of magical. And then over here, I'll come in here with a little more darker values. I can feel my brush getting a little bit sticky. Now I need a little more water. If you want, you can put up a little piece of, a little drop of water on your desk and like tap it in that water every once in a while. That's another little fun fact, little trick. Now I got magenta in there. Got a little, a little brown streak that goes up there. Now I'm going to start building up my lighter values. Like right in here. And I should have had some yellow. There's a little bit of yellow in there. Uh, for the yellow, I'm going to use yellow ochre though. So I'm not going to use regular yellow. Mm, yellow ochre is kind of a nice mellow yellow. Mellow yellow. And it works out good with the uh, bright... Uh, Permanent green. I'll add just a glaze of this. Then that's enough. Rinse off the brush a little bit. Go back to the white. So it's kind of tedious as far as how many colors you have to put on this thing. But once again, so it's not like a magic color. You don't mix up two parts of this color, one part of that, and all of a sudden you have this amazing looking value and color. Process of a lot of layers. I'm going to have this come up here a little bit lighter. 
very thin paint. And on the bottom, it's a little bit lighter here. It's a cups. And I'll go a little bit. It's a little harsh right there, so I'll just feather it out. All right, so now we're starting to get the form. And if you want to change the color a little bit, so wait for it to dry, and then you do what's called a glaze. I can do that on part two of the Stingray show. You guys are emotionally prepared to see that. Glaze is simply a thin layer of paint that goes on there. Use a sponge or something to kind of like tone it down a little bit. All right, so now I'm starting to get my color interpretation. Now I'm gonna take my back to my small brush again. So I go back and forth, small brush, large brush. It's like a party of brushes. And over here, I'll do a dark line, a little more green, and then fade that out. Kind of scumbling. And if you want, you take your finger, you want to like tap it out to fade it. Take your finger and tap it. You're not rubbing it, you're just tapping it. Tippy tap, tap a -roo. Operation tap a -roo. All right, so then it comes down. A little more light. Fade that out. And we're starting to get, and then this has a lot more of the, like the darker value and light. I'm gonna put some more light down here. More undulating values. All right, so now I have this coming in here. And you take your finger, tap. Put another little value over here. Really bright on the top. Well, not really bright, but brighter. And that's a little bit thick. You can see how it's kind of lumpy. A little bit more water to it. Tap that out. Tap, 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 tap. And it's a lot darker in the back. And these are sort of molded as well. So to make it subtle, at that phase, a couple little taps of brush, and then finger. You can keep shading for days though. All right. And that is going to be it for round one of the Stingray Show, or Manta Ray, or whatever the thing is. Action!